guys are still sober before you guys get too much booze in you tonight while you're still sober. Who's ready? Who's ready to repent? Who is ready? Who is ready to uh, leave the pub crawl? Who is ready to repent of their drunkenness? Who is ready to uh, uh, repent of their rebellion against the holy and righteous God? Who actually cares more about their soul? I'll take it and dump it out if you want to give it to me. I'll take it and dump it out where it belongs. That's what you need to do. That is true repentance. You need work to meet for repentance. Let's see some people pour out their food. I want to see some people pour out their food broken before a holy and righteous God. Folks, this is not a checklist. This banner is not a checklist that you want to get 100% on. This is a list you need to be off of. Why, why do you want to shake my hand? Let me just ask you. So why are you out at a pub call then? You're wearing a cross, uh, presumably acting like you're a Christian, while you're smoking, while you're destroying the temple of God, and you're out here as a friend of the world. The Bible says, the Bible says, let us walk naturally, as in the day, not in revelry and drunkenness, not in lewdness and lust, not in strife and envy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill its lust. The Bible says, let us walk properly, as in the day. Justice 
and uh, holiness will be shown through the burning of sinners. God does not recycle. God burns his trash. God burns his trash. God is willing to recycle now. If you are willing, if you are willing to repent, then God is peace. If you want to go green, here you go. We see a lot of green shirts out there today. A lot of green shirts out there today. You guys want to go green? You want to go green? You want to recycle? You want to be a big recycler? God is willing to recycle if while well, you have a heart beating in your chest and breath in your lungs, God is willing to recycle you from a sinner into a saint. God is willing, God is willing to recycle you from a worthless sinner into a holy saint. But when you die, when you die as an unrepentant sinner, God ends his recycling program after Judgment Day. God ends his recycling program after Judgment Day, and he burns his trash. God, you need to fear God. There's no fear of God out here at the pub crawl. No fear of God from everyone wearing a Rich and Bennett pub crawl shirt. You need the fear of God in your life. Because God, our God, is known by the judgment he executes. You need some of the fear of God in your life. So you quit living in revelry and drunkenness, lewdness and you're lust, you're getting drunk, strife you? and envy. You need to put Come. on the Lord you're not Jesus out here getting Christ drunk, are you? I hope not. no provision Jen, for the I... flesh to you fulfill have... its lust. You're, uh, you your are not going to be able to go yeah. green Come on. after Dylan, judgment I day. You were worse God than me back in the day. Oh yeah, I was, but I got saved and I repented. Day, Dylan, now I live holy and righteous for God. Dylan, God you know how bad I was. You know, you know that you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, alive I'm forever. We did not want that for you. Listen, it doesn't matter what I think of you. It matters what God thinks of you. I'm not out here to beat you up, but I'm out here warning you. I've known you since the fourth grade. Right? Probably before that. Look. But you haven't known me since I've met God. And I'm telling you, man, there's a place called hell. And, 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 and Jesus will you. Before it's too late, me, I'd get right with God before oh, it's too late. I'd come help you too if you, if you, were, you know, for mercy. Uh, if you weren't doing something you shouldn't be. I mean, come on, man. You know, you know that this is... To the Lord. How old are you now, bro? No you are know, worse than me. How old are you, bro? You are a year behind me. You are worse than me. You are an hour of darkness. It's time to grow up. Jimbo. 
Jimbo. Ignore him. Ignore him. Hello. Oh, it is I. It is I. A lover of it. This man's statement was that cherry picking from the Bible makes me a sinner. All right, tell me how that is. I'm just waiting to turn it over. Well, you make the claim, you made the claim that cherry pick, picking specific verses out of the Bible is a sin. So I'm, I'm calling you on your bluff. I'm calling your bluff. I'm still answering him. No, I don't want a hug. I have a wife who gives me all the hugs I want. All right, give me... Back up your claim. Can I give you a hug? No. I, believe it or not, I don't like being hugged by strange men. Strange okay. drunk men are not hey. any of interest. God sucks. God sucks. I thought you were supposed to judge. Back up your claim. God no, sucks. he throws. God he throws sucks. sinners in hell. Right, back hey, up your claim. Hell tell, me, tell me how that's God true. Sucks. Tell me how your statement was true. God's a God faggot. God's a Tell me how it is God's that if I pick specific God verses sucks. out of the Bible, where does the Bible say that that's a sin? I don't know. You tell me. You you made the claim. I'm, I'm telling you it's not true. Like what about that God sucks? How about this? Uh, Jesus said, unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Hey, guess what? Now, that's cherry picking, but uh, tell me tell me an alternative a, alternative explanation of that verse. All right. If you're the only one in heaven, I'd rather be in hell right now. Uh, I agree. This man said that if I'm, if I'm going to be in heaven, that he'd rather be in hell. And I agree. You sinners would hate heaven. You sinners would hate heaven because we spend all of our time in heaven obeying God. We spend our time in heaven obeying the Lord Jesus Christ, doing His will, and calling Him holy, 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 living obediently to Him. And if you sinners are unwilling to live obediently to God for a mere 80 years on earth, then you would hate doing it for all of eternity. So I do agree with you on that point. You would hate heaven unless you are willing to forsake your sin. I'm not Westboro Baptist. I'm out here proclaiming the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you don't want to receive it, your blood's not on my hands. Your blood's not on my hands. See, look at those drunks over there. Those drunks over there are getting violent. Getting violent with those guys. They're just over there standing. That's why there's so many police out here on the street because they know you drunks are violent. They know you drunks are stupid and violent and you're going to crash cars into people and buildings. You're going uh, to end up sleeping with losers. You girls are going to go home and sleep with some of these loser Jesus guys in green me. shirts. Jesus does not love me. I agree. The Bible says that God hates all workers of iniquity. Psalm 5.5. Five. Psalm, yes, because I obey Obey him. The Bible, Jesus himself said in John 14, He who has my commandments and keeps them, it is he who loves me, and he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. That's John chapter 14, I believe. Uh, so read that. Go home. That's your homework assignment. Take a shower and go home. Uh, Read John chapter 14. If you're unwilling to obey God, then nothing but His wrath abides on you. Flee from your sin while there's still time. Flee from your sin while there's still hope.